Maryland, where the pastors are Guy and Sherry Moloch. Um, it is always a pleasure to come back to the Capital View Baptist Church. This is where my father and I actually grew up here. And for those of you who don't remember me, my father was Deacon Talmadge Hall. And I'd be so proud if he were here today to Amen. see me deliver the word. Amen. So pray with me. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Amen. Amen. In Luke, the 23rd chapter, in the 39th through the 43rd verse, from the New Revised Standard Version, mm -hmm. you'll find these words. One of the criminals who were hanged there kept deriding him and saying, Are you not the Messiah? Save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him, saying, Do you not fear God, since you are under the same sentence of condemnation? Mm -hmm. and, when, and we indeed have been condemned justly, for we are getting what we deserve for our deeds. Yeah. But this man has done nothing wrong. Well, Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come <coughs> into your kingdom. He replied, Truly, I tell you today, you will be with me in paradise. Yeah. The second word from the cross. Pray with me as we consider the sermon topic, who, what, where, when, and how. Subtitle, Just the Facts. Each of the Gospels of the New Testament was designed for a particular purpose and a particular audience. Luke's particular audience was Gentile, and the purpose was to legitimize their right standing in God's plan of salvation. Yeah. Salvation being the overarching theme throughout the gospel, we find ourselves in this pericope at the crucifixion of Jesus. Come on. Crucifixion was not only one of the most disgraceful forms of death, it was one of the most dreaded methods of execution in the ancient world. Mm -hmm. This type of capital punishment was primarily reserved for traitors, captive armies, rebellious slaves, mm -hmm. and the worst of criminals. That's right. Although the Romans didn't invent crucifixion, they were proficient in its use. Come on. Crucifixion was meant to serve as a grisly example to those who dared to defy Roman authority. The punishment for insolence was simple. To be made an example of, to suffer, and to die. It wasn't just my way or the highway. To defy Rome was more like my way or the die way. Mm -hmm. To be a part of Rome's kingdom, you had to agree with Rome's ideologies. Mm -hmm. If you thought or acted otherwise, they would declare you unfit for the kingdom. Mm -hmm. This was the case for Jesus, who was condemned to die between two thieves because of his claim to be the Son of God, mm -hmm. the Messiah who came to fulfill the law. Uh -huh. The Jewish leaders considered him a blasphemer. The Roman rulers were also uneasy since at that time there were constant stirrings of rebellion against the Roman occupation right. headed by local leaders who appealed to this new Jew Jewish sense of identity yeah. proclaiming Jesus king of the Jews. Mm -hmm. As I reflected on the plight of Jesus in this text, sentenced to death for preaching the true facts of salvation, I couldn't help but draw comparisons between Rome and our own religious landscape. Mm -hmm. We may not physically nail people to crosses today, but we certainly love to terminate membership and boot people out of the kingdom for cause. Uh -huh. We like to tell people that Jesus is love and that God loves everybody, but we also like to pledge, certify, pick, and choose those who are eligible to receive that love. Come on. The we that I am referring to is the me and the you that take pride in our church appointed positions Amen. designed as guardians at the gate of God's house, Amen. stamping and discarding resumes for employment into God's kingdom. Preach! Assuming that God's salvation is based on our personal preferences and opinions of others. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you are liberal or conservative, and it doesn't matter what denomination you are part of or what church you go to. Yeah. Instead of being witnesses of God's goodness, we have become watchdogs stalking the perimeter of the kingdom. Come on! Instead of being witnesses of, of givers of grace, we have become watchdogs that, that let some people in and let other people out. Mm -hmm. We have become watchdogs that, 
that somehow along the way through our log-filled eyes have collectively forgotten who the kingdom actually belongs to. Come on now. Because of our ignorance and arrogance, Christianity in America today is suffering. Mm. As a nation, we have become desensitized to all human aspects of misfortune and distress. We won't feed the hungry. We won't clothe the naked. We won't teach the children. We won't love our neighbor. Mm. And we certainly won't pay our tithes. But on Sunday morning, we are the first to lead the choir and singing, Oh, how I love Jesus. Come on now. But as I continue to read this text, I actually have found some good news. In the midst of suffering, by faith, Jesus took divine authority over earthly situations. When the criminal asked Jesus to keep him, keep him in mind, Jesus actually goes one step further and responds, today you will be with me in paradise. Mm -hmm. Theologians actually debate over exactly what paradise means in this text. But whatever it means, because of the man's faith, he will be wherever paradise is with Jesus. Come on. Now, I don't know how many of you have ever been in a position to be in need of an emergency response team, like those present at the World Trade Center on 9-11 or the bombing at the Boston Marathon. Mm -hmm. When the emergency call is made, first responders are empowered to take care of the immediate need and respond to the media with just the facts. Mm -hmm. The who, what, where, when, and how of the situation. Come on. When the thief turned to Jesus, he was in the midst of his emergency situation. Uh -huh. When we examine the text, the thief did not waste time with labels or adjunct titles. When he made his request known to Jesus, he said, Jesus, remember me. Uh-huh. The who in this case is Jesus, the one who holds all power in his hands. Uh -huh. He's the one who holds the keys to the kingdom and possesses the power to grant you access. Uh -huh. What? What you might ask was at stake during the thief's crisis. The answer was his salvation. Mm. The thief did not ask Jesus for forgiveness or to be pardoned for his sins. Well. He went straight to the chase and asked for God's grace on his soul that he might be let into the kingdom. Come on. Where, where you might ask, did this all take place? In the midst of the thief's emergency. Mm -hmm. Remember Jesus' response to the criminal came while he himself was simultaneously being crucified. Well, Jesus, as a true first responder in a crisis situation, ignored his own peril to grant salvation to another. Uh huh. Keep in mind, Jesus' ultimate sacrifice was not so that he, but that we yeah. might live. Uh huh. When? Jesus' response perfectly and succinctly addressed the, the request with nothing more than the facts. When Jesus answers, today, ah. you will be with me in paradise. How? How was all of this accomplished? The answer is simple, by faith. Mm. Hebrews 11.1 1 says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for mm. and the evidence of things not seen. Well, Therefore, it is by faith that the lame are made to walk. Mm -hmm. It is by faith that the blind are able to see. Come on. It is by faith that the sick are made well. Yeah. It was by faith that the criminal made his intimate request known to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords when he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Yeah. It was by that same faith that Jesus responds and says, truly I tell you today, you will be with me in paradise. Paradise. Now I'm out of time, so let's wrap this up with just the facts. Who? Jesus. What? Your salvation. Where? In the midst of your situation. When? Today. How? By faith. If you don't know Jesus for yourself as your personal Lord and Savior, I beseech you to be in concert with the criminal's last request of faith today. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And I declare that Jesus' response will be the same to you. Truly, I tell you today, you will be with me in paradise. The second word from the top. Amen. 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 Amen.